Hi, this is Togrim. You are watching my first Rogue PvP video for Rift. I am in the process of selecting a class for my alt, so I decided to try a Marksman spec Rogue. This is a ranged DPS spec with a lot of mobility, and I have joined in this video a Black Garden Warfront already in progress. So I'm building up combo points from range using Swift Shot, and then I used Hasted Shot for the finisher and movement buff. And one of these incoming players here, uh, just a car spec, Cleric decides to go ahead and attack me, so I'm using Strafe Kiting to maintain a gap, and I pop the Hasted Shot buff again just to maintain a gap. And so, you know, the nice thing about the Hasted Shot buff is the run speed buff, the duration of it scales depending on how many combo points you have, but I have sometimes used it at low combo points, like two or three combo points, just to give me a temporary movement buff to create separation. So I switch over to a rogue here and I've got open field of fire so I use empowered shot and then build it to five combo points and then use dead eye shot for the finisher and then I port forward using shadow shift build up combo points on the run and then use a four point hasted shot to drop that player so the great thing about and I killed the uh, flag carry there with a the swift shot so the great thing about marksman is we have tremendous mobility it really is a very fun kiting spec and we can deliver effective DPS on the run you know, although, you know, when I get the chance to actually stop and sit down um, and use cast time nukes, that generally provides um, better burst damage and DPS overall. Um, but, you know, even on the run, though, we can deliver pretty good damage. So I do have a melee spec um, cleric adjust the car who's beating on me, so I go ahead and use um, a three-point hasted shot to create a gap, and then that cleric wisely switches to another target since she's not going to be able to melee me effectively while I've got this uh, speed buff up. So as a marksman, you get really good range with my current talents. I think I'm up to 34 meters of range for ranged attacks, but you have to be careful about line of sight issues. So here, for example, uh, this player is about to break line of sight. I know this, so I'm strafing parallel to him, and then I port over to the side using shadow shift. And the goal is to try to keep my target in as open a field of fire as I can get. So here I use an empowered shot and then follow up with a dead eye shot. One thing to notice uh, is sometimes when you fire your uh, finishing moves, um, the combo points aren't consumed, and this is because the finishing attack didn't land. So, you know, you spent the energy to cast the finishing attack, but the combo points weren't consumed, if that's the case, and you just got to uh, try another finisher. So I, I've gotten used to watching my target after I fire um, a finisher to see if my combo points were spent. So here, um, our flag here got killed, so I'm using fan out on multiple targets to try to prevent them from picking up the flag. And then I'm pursuing this cleric to make sure we burn, it down, uh, burn the cleric down. The fan got picked up in the middle by an enemy player here, so um, in a second I'm going to switch over, make sure that player is dead, and then I strafe over it, um, keeping basically my character's shoulders are facing toward my target while always moving side to side on the run. So we do, I do have a uh, Justicar beating on me, so we drop the flag carrier, and then I use Hasted Shot for the movement buff, and I'm strafe kiting away. You know, and even in this low bracket, 10 to 19, the mobility superiority of Marksman is very clear. Um, I have that Shadow Shift to port forward, I have it on the double, which is a movement buff, and then I have Hasted Shot. So this provides me plenty of tools for gapping opponents and for closing the gap as necessary. So I'm using Fan Out here to prevent them from picking up the flag. Fan Out's really good, the only issue is it doesn't build up combo points. So I go ahead and switch on this low health target to using Swift Shot to build up to five combo points, and then I use hasted shot for the finish and I get a nice 317 crit for the killing blow. And I'm looking for targets here that are overextended so I get on this rogue and I make a mistake right there. I start loading up with an empowered shot but that player was taking focus fire from multiple opponents and about to die so if that's the case I just should have used some instant cast abilities to help drop them. It's not a huge deal but you, know, you want to time your cast time nukes based on the situation. So you can see for example here um, I'm building up to five combo points. Actually, I switch off that just car. There we go. Get back on the just car. Um, just car goes down. One of my team members here in this pug warfront picks up the flag, and I'm on a level 19 pyro mage, and I get a dead eye shot from five points for high damage, and then I drop her with a swift shot. So you can see I'm rotating my character really quickly here. It's using mouse look, and if you're curious about um, strafing and setting up your keyboard to be able to strafe effectively, I talk about this in great detail in my Warrior Volume 9 video, which I'll provide a link to in this video's description. 
So, so far I've been very impressed with the kiting mechanics for Marsman. You know, if you like to stick and move, this is a very, very good fit. I get the killing blow there with Swift Shot. And you know, even at low levels in this bracket, I've been able to, to wreck people pretty badly. Um, just using open field of fire in here. You can see here, right here, I strafe Kite to the left to kind of open up my firing lines on this player as I thought he was going to go behind a tree. And then I drop him with a hasted shot crit for 243. Now, in a second here, notice my health's dropping really quickly, so I go ahead and use um, Shadow Shift to port across, and then I've still got the hasted movement, um, hasted shot movement buff. So I go ahead and strafe kite behind this tree, and there's a level 19 pyro who's trying to kill me, so I just wait for some of the dot ticks to tick up, and then we help, uh, we finish off that player. So, you know, I have seen even, you know, levels uh, 10 through 12 so far, often placing, you know, at or, at or near. Uh, the top for damage and killing blows. Um, so, you know, the main thing for me is just to constantly watch my positioning relative to my opponents, make sure I don't overextend or ma make myself a choice target for other melees because we have such good range as marksmen um, and I'm constantly sticking to moving. You know, I have seen a lot of marksmen, you know, on my when I fight against with my warrior, you know, all the way up to level 50, just standing in place and nuking. And I think, you know, there's a time and a place to nuke. Um, but in a lot of cases, you want to use the mobility of your class, especially a spec like Marksman, um, to make sure you've got proper positioning at open times and have a good field of fire. So like right here, for example, I make a mistake. This player um, kites behind the tree and breaks my line of sight. I u should have used Shadow Shift to move forward to keep that open field of fire on him and apply pressure. So I finished tops in this warfront, even though I joined a little late, um, and I finished second in killing blows with eight. Um, and the person who finished was nine was a level 19 fire maid, so she had a you know significant level advantage. Um, the nice thing about you know being range DPS, obviously, especially a, a mobile range DPS, is I don't need quite as much healing as I did on my warrior. You know, obviously my warriors you know I play very aggressively and tend to push very much in the opposing lines. But with a you know 34, 35 meter range as a marksman, you know I can pick and choose my spots. So let me know what you think of the video, 